All right, boys, Dime Rush, let's go ahead and get glitchy with this blitz. So what you're going to do in your shell, you're going to go cover zero shell, coaching adjustments, auto flip is going to be off. And the reason this blitz is super good is because um, you're able to do this out of cover two shell. And the only reason why you would be able to run a blitz like this in college football 25 is because of switch stick. Because of how good switch stick is, it makes this defense really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to call Tampa 2 flipped. We're going to pinch our defense, crash line down blitz linebackers and then you're just going to use her this slot corner now you can bring your slot corner kind of in a little bit more if you want to but in general what's going to happen here is as you can see it's going to essentially the more the, what i have found it's kind of an odd blitz honestly i've tried a bajillion ways to get this to come in without move, what like with being able to move the slot corner but if you just keep him where he's at you're going to get a much better chance of consistently getting this b gap pressure off of the right side. So you're just going to stand here and you're going to hold left trigger for like a couple seconds. And then you're just going to flick off to him onto somebody that you want to switch stick. And you see there we get the blitz. So again, just pinch linebackers uh, or pinch your entire defense, crash line down, blitz linebackers. And then you can stand here, hold left trigger, get the blitz to come in. And if it doesn't come in from that defensive end, it's probably going to come in from that left side. Again, I've tried, you know, I re would really like to run this defense, me being able to stand a little bit more here. And that time it actually worked pretty good. But I just find in general in the game, a lot of times it doesn't really work. Now, another thing that I like, another coverage that I like to do out of this defense that I did want to let you know. So what you can do with this, like let's say you're playing like a trips. Trips tight end is going to be really popular this year. Throw your user in a hard flat, and then you're going to basically have, you want to you be in this coverage right here. Let me show you. So we want this hook curl. The reason we want this hook curl is because this hook curl is going to take away those seam streaks. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold with our user, and we're going to switch stick onto this hook curl. You see this is going to allow us to play kind of simply, essentially be multiple places at the same time. Now, you could also just run this cover two, and, but I just find that the vert hook is not always like super awesome at being able to defend things. Another thing you can do to make this blitz a little bit better, just blitz the corner on that side. And then if they block a running back, a lot of times this blitz will still come in up the A-gap, as you see. So this blitz is super effective. It's dime rush. Uh, somebody actually ran this on me, and that's how I kind of learned how good this blitz really was. And again, if you get this A-gap pressure, it really does it really does mess with passing. It's hard to pass when you're getting super screamed at up the A-gap. If you come in here, like I said, I've tried this a bajillion times. A lot of times you just can't. It, it, if you come in with your user into that A-gap, a lot of times it's going to come in from the middle linebacker. Now, that's fine. Um, it's fine for it to come to the middle linebacker, but it's a little easier for the running back. As I say, he just screams through. Um, it's normally a little easier for the running back to block that. Okay, But in general, you can, you can run it on that. Um, another thing you can do is you can also – let me show you this real quick you can click on to this guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of stand right here. And the snap of the ball is going to go like that. And you see this comes in as well. So you could literally use either slot corner. If you do this setup, the cool part about this is you're already on the trip side. And so you can kind of easily get into that, into that seam area of the field. Uh, the seam area of the field to me is like super hard OP right now. And what I would probably honestly do is shade this underneath um, because flats are super good this year as well. But basically, then you can kind of switch and get to get to your stuff easily. So little dime rush blitz, super good. It's 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 pretty good. It's a sin five, right? In this game, there's a lot of good blitzes that are sin threes, sin fours. But this one is good because it comes uh, basically right through that B gap right there. And what I would do with my user is kind of almost stand like right behind him like this. Snap of the ball, hold left trigger, kind of strafe out. You see, see how he's coming in up the B gap. And you're also getting, what's crazy is you're also getting this other guy. So now, let's say we wanted to send six. I didn't even go over this yet. Let's say we wanted to send six. So we're going to blitz that slot corner there. And they block a running back. Watch this thing. Just hum through the A gap. Super good. So it's kind of, a, kind of an interesting little defense. But wanted to drop this for you guys. Uh, I got a full breakdown on this defense on our school community, which is on the uh, in our school community on that site. If you want to sign up for that, that's going to be linked in the description. But um, again, you know, this is this. Well, the reason I want to be able to stand like right in here somewhere, 
it's a lot easier to stop the run. Like a lot easier to stop the run if you stand over here. So, because that's where most people are going to run. So, anyways, there it is. Dime Rush Blitz, super good. Wanted to drop this for you guys. We've, it's been in the school community for a while. We also have a full defensive kind of defense around it. And you see, I mean, just how, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this thing just, this thing just hums. When it comes in, it's super good. And a lot of teams have this in their playbook. A lot of teams have this in their playbook. Worst case scenario typically is that linebacker coming through. If you don't get the crazy uh, B gaps, worst, you know, typically you're going to get, you're going to get that linebacker. So anyways, that's it. That's a dime rush. That time I got nobody. I don't know what I did wrong there. Um, Kind of mess around with the user, you know. Again, if you use her over here, it's probably a little better for the B gap, as you see right there. But it doesn't always, you know, y you can get the B gap to come in on the other side. So, thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out the full ebooks, link in the description below.